Okay, let's talk about how to write a fraction as a decimal. So for example, here I have the fraction 7 twelfths, and we can write it as the decimal 0.583 repeating, i.e. these two uh, numbers are equivalent. So I have the fraction 7 twelfths, and it's equivalent to the decimal 0 0.583 uh, repeating. So this little bar right here means this is uh, this three repeats on and on and on. So instead of writing an infinite a number of threes, we just put this little bar over there, um, over that one three, just in case you didn't know that. But we're going to talk about uh, repeating uh, decimals and all this kind of stuff here in a second. Matter of fact, if you want to kind of um, go along with this little micro lesson, it will be helpful for you to uh, use a calculator. Now, when it comes to calculators, some of you out there probably think, well, isn't a calculator kind of cheating in math? Well, not really. A calculator is a tool, okay? So you do want to know how to use a calculator, but of course you need to know how to do um, basic mathematical operations using good old fashioned arithmetic as well. But we're going to use a calculator uh, for the things we're going to be discussing here. And I'm going to get into all of this in just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, if you're failing in math, you don't have to stay in that situation. You could do much, much better, uh, better than you think you can, because you probably think that you're bad in math, okay? And I'm telling you right now, you could be very, very good in math, but it requires two things. One, you got to be willing to work hard. So yes, it does require work to be good in math, but the second thing you need is great math instruction, clear, understandable, comprehensive, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, check out my math help program. You can find a link uh, to it in the description of this video. I promise it will help you out big time. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test with the math section, things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, maybe the Alex exam, ASVAB, teacher certification exam, you get the idea. There are a ton of tests that people have to take. I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, definitely check out my uh, homeschool middle and high school mathematics courses. Um, they um, come in with pretty high reviews from a lot of homeschoolers. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that helps me out as well. All right, so let's get into fractions and decimals. This is real basic mathematics, a skill that you need to know how to do. Now, uh, just to be clear, we're going from a fraction to a decimal. Now, how we go from a decimal into a fraction, well, that is a completely different um, uh, topic. Now, if you're curious about this uh, second topic, how you go from a decimal to a fraction, I do have additional YouTube videos on this, and you can learn all about this basic mathematics in my foundations math course. You can find a link to that in my math help program. I go over all this good arithmetic that you learned in elementary school and middle school. But let's get into um, how we convert a fraction into a decimal. Let's start off with um, a fraction uh, that most of you know the answer to in terms of what is the decimal equivalent, and that is one half. So if I said, what is the decimal uh, equivalent for one half, most of you would say, oh, that's 0.5, or 0.5 is equal to one half. So what's going on here? Well, to go from one half to 0.5, it's as simple as dividing, okay? So we take the numerator, this top number, and we divide it by the bottom number here, the denominator. So let's do this over here. So let's take one and divide it by two. Now, in this case, if you didn't have a calculator available and you remember how to deal with decimals, this is uh, two divided or one divided by two or uh, uh, 1.0 or 1.0 divided by two. So remember, here's the decimal point. So you're thinking to yourself, okay, two goes into, it can't go into one, but it can go into 10. That's five. Here's where the decimal point's at. So you got uh, two goes into 1.0, 0.5, okay? So again, all we're doing to convert a fraction into a decimal is you divide the numerator by the denominator. And this is where a calculator is going to uh, come in very, very handy. And it's as simple as that, but there is a few little additional details that we want to review. And let's go ahead and talk about those now. So there are some fractions out there, just like one half. Um, 
it's equal to 0.5, there are some common fractions that you should just remember um, that are decimal equivalent. So let's start off with 1 fourth. 1 fourth um, is uh, equivalent to the decimal, 0.25. Now, if you really wanted to see this and you got your calculator handy, you could take that 1 and divide it by 4, and you'll see that is equal to 0.25. But this is something you should commit to your long-term memory. Let's take a look at another one. 1 third okay, is equal to 0.3 repeating. Now, it's not just 0 0.3, it's 0.3 repeating. So if you take that 1 and divide it by 3 in your calculator, you'll see you'll have 0.333. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. So what is repeating? The 3 is repeating. So that little bar over that 3 is just a, a, a shorthand notation indicating that digit is repeating. Okay, so that's not a little trivial detail. So you do want to put that bar in there. So one third is equal to 0.3 repeating. Let's take a look at another fraction that you should know it's decimal equivalent. Two thirds, that is 0.6 repeating. Okay, and then three fourths is uh, equivalent to the decimal uh, 0.75. So these are some fractions and the respective decimal equivalents that you should just memorize into your long-term memory. So when you see these, these are very common fractions along with one half. And there's some other ones out there like uh, four-fifths, et cetera. But uh, we'll just leave it at this as a minimum. Okay. All right. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some more examples. So here, let me go and erase this. This is the problem I had. In advance, so seven, uh, or the first problem that I showed you in the beginning of this video. So we have seven twelfths is equal to 0.583 repeating. So go into your calculator, you kind of see this um, as I'm doing this. You could take seven divided by 12, okay? This is the procedure. You can take the numerator divided by the denominator, and you're going to get 0.583333. And so forth. Okay, so uh, again, all these threes that are repeating, just go ahead and write it this way with that little notation, and there you go. That is the decimal equivalent to the fraction seven twelfths. All right, so pretty straightforward stuff, but let's um, kind of continue to dive in and take a look at a mixed number fraction. Okay, something like three and one fourth. Okay, so how do we convert that fraction into a decimal? Well, there's two ways we can do a problem like this. First, we can realize that 3 and 1 fourth is the same as 3 plus 1 fourth. Okay, 3 plus 1 fourth is equal to the fraction 3 and 1 fourth. So again, this is a mixed number, but this mixed number, okay, uh, from a mathematical standpoint, this 3 and 1 fourth means 3 plus another 1 fourth. Okay, this is, these are equivalent. Of course, we don't write this for, um, this way, 3 plus 1 fourth. We write it this way. But let's take a look at um, uh, if we wanted to add these two little numbers up. So here we have 3 and 1 fourth is the same thing as a decimal 0 0.25 and 3 plus 0.25 is 3.25. Okay, so this is, we could do this problem without the aid of a calculator, because we remember that one fourth is the same thing as a decimal 0 0.25. Now, if we wanted to, we could take this three and one fourth and turn this into an improper fraction. So remember the way to do that is go four times three, which is of course 12, plus one is going to be 13 or 13 over four. Okay, so three and one fourth this mixed number fraction, I can write as an improper fraction, 13 over 4. Then I can go into my calculator and take 13 divided by 4, and guess what I come up with? 3.25, okay, the same decimal. So those are two approaches to deal with mixed number fractions. And even if you didn't know um, this uh, fr uh, fraction's equivalent, decimal equivalent, you could still use your calculator and do it this way. But in this particular case, because you know it, you can just, you know, easily identify, oh, this is 3 plus 0.25 or 3.25. But when you have a um, mixed number fraction, you're not quite sure what these numbers are, I would suggest just go ahead and convert it into an improper fraction and do the division. And there you go. Now let's take a look at our last problem here. And let's take a look at this fraction, 11 over 17. 
Okay, and 11 17 let's convert that into a decimal. So again, we're going to take 11 and divide it by 17. And on your calculator, you may not even see all these digits. I did actually do this on my computer. But let's take a look at what we uh, get here. We get 0 0.647058823529417. And you're, you're, you know, kind of looking at these digits. And let me ask you, do you see anything repeating? Do you see any repeating pattern here? Okay. Well, so far you do not. All right. You're looking, you're, you're trying to determine, well, does, you know, do we have a repeating pattern? Well, I will say this much. In mathematics, a number that we can express as a fraction of integers, okay, nice whole numbers like this, 11 over 17, this is something we call a rational number. Okay, this is, I'm kind of told you I was going to give you a little bit of bonus material here. So a rational number is a number that we can express as a fraction, okay, where the numerator and denominator are technically integers, but just let's think of them as nice, lovely whole numbers, okay? So here we have 11 over 17. So a rational number is a number that we can express as a fraction. So here, you're looking at this decimal and we're expressing it as 11 over 17, but rational numbers, their decimal equivalents do repeat, okay? There is a repeating pattern that goes, you know, uh, along here. Let's kind of go back up here to our basic numbers here, like 1 fourth, it's 0.25. The rational numbers either repeat or they terminate, okay? So here, 0.25, that decimal terminates. Here, 1 third, that's 0.3 repeating, okay? Here, this is 0.6 repeating for 2 thirds, and then the fraction 3 fourths is 0.75. It terminates there, okay? Or here, 7 twelfths is 0.583 repeating, so there is a repeating part, okay? So again, with rational numbers, you will have some sort of repeating part, but it's not going to be so obvious for some fractions, okay? So here, you have 11 over 17. You're like, well, where is it repeating? Well, it starts to repeat right here after this 7, okay? So right here, if you do have a calculator or a, uh, I'm sorry, a calculator on a computer, because your computer um, screens are not going to show you enough digits, this will start to repeat again. Okay, in other words, you have this uh, digit 4117, and right here, guess what's going to start showing up again? It's going to be 6, 4, 7, 0, and 5, etc. So this is all going to repeat. So there is a repeating component to rational numbers or fractions, but sometimes they may be very long. So when you're converting a fraction to a decimal, you may be required to just do some rounding off. So let's say you choose to go, well, let's go 6.647. Uh, and if you choose to just take this first three digits, 11 17ths, okay, 11 17ths, we don't want to use the equal sign. We'll just say that's approximately 0.647, okay? So again, little details that uh, mean a lot in mathematics. This is the approximate symbol, okay, unlike the equal symbol. The equal symbol means that, hey, this is exactly equal to. So if you do want to round off, um, you know, because you know, all these digits are, you know, there are a ton of them here, and you don't want to just put a big bar over this, you may have to uh, do that depending on your class that you're in. But uh, again, if you're going to say 11 17 is approximately equal to 0.647, at least now you understand why. Okay. All right. So we're going to tie this in again with rational numbers, uh, rounding off, repeating decimals, and terminating decimals. But the bottom line is that you need to know how to convert fractions into decimals and decimals back into fractions, which is an exciting topic in and of itself. But we're just going to take things one step at a time. And if this video helped you out, well, that's excellent. Hopefully you consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. And if you already knew all this stuff, I I would be very much remiss if I didn't give you a nice, lovely little happy face in A++ and a 120% for being such an awesome math student. I think a lot of people um, uh, take these basic math concepts for granted. Like, oh yeah, I know how to change a fraction to a decimal. Well, they may not know how to do that, but they don't they may not know everything they need to know about 
this uh, uh, topic, okay, i.e. repeating decimals, rational numbers, etc. Okay, and hopefully this video uh, filled in the gap. Again, if you want to know more about decimals, fractions, or just foundational math skills, arithmetic, all that stuff, I would highly suggest my math foundations course. Again, you can find that at my math help program. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.